Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. I'm Chef Christine Cushing, and I'm teaching horrible cooks how to be fearless in the kitchen. Today, I work with another challenged cook. She goes from pathetic pad thai, <coughs> doggy, to brulee for hundreds at an exclusive event. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. Can this mom overcome her impatience and give everyone their just desserts? Or will her family suffer through another attempt to make a meal? is a wife, a mom, and an entrepreneur. But when it comes to the kitchen, it's enter at your own risk. I told my husband before we got married, I told him very clearly, I cannot cook. Vicky, she's a really bad cook. She's not a very good cook, actually. She's, I would say, a terrible cook, because she, she keeps burning her stuff. When it comes to Vicky's cooking, her family has been burnt many times. My mom burned toast, chicken nuggets, chicken strips, waffles, pancakes. I usually have no plan. There's no menu. It's spontaneous. Yeah. You know, I have five minutes to get something ready. I just don't have the patience in the kitchen. Even her six-year-old son won't eat her food. I think they're going to turn out this time? No. My son said, OK, Mom, let's make cupcakes together. But at the end of it, he just doesn't want to eat the cupcakes. He just, Mom, these don't taste good. How come my dad can't make it? Because he's a better cook. My husband is a fabulous cook. People will say, oh, is your husband cooking? I'm like, no, no, I'm going to do it. They're like, oh. I hope Christine can teach her how to cook so she can make some amazing things for all of us. I want to do it for, for my husband and my children. I just want to have that feeling and hear from my husband, you know what? Wow, this is fantastic. My aim is to get Vicky to practice patience in the kitchen so that she can create a fantastic feast for her family. If I'm successful, their reaction to her cooking will go from criticism to compliments. This is my kitchen, welcome. This is where your husband cooks, probably. My husband cooks, I am his official assistant. So tell me, is there something that you've always wanted to make? I would love to learn how to make Thai food, and I think it's something that would appeal to my entire family. This is the area I try to stay away from. <laughs> my husband always says, you know what, there's more buttons than high on the stove. And then I'm like rushing to get the water boiling and all of it kind of going on at once. It hasn't really been fun. My son and my daughter, they don't like my cooking, and my husband's kind of like, oh. I'm gonna key in on Vicky's love of Thai as I help her build her skills and confidence in the kitchen so that in the end, she can prepare a phenomenal Thai feast that her family will love. So Vicky, the first step on our journey is I need to see how you cook on your own. I have to cook? <laughs> yes. It wasn't virtual cooking, yes. You gotta cook. So what you're gonna make for me is a rice noodle stir fry. You've got a whole bunch of ingredients, and these are Thai-inspired. You don't have to use all of them. Just do what Vicky would think to do. Do you have an instant pack? <laughs> all right. The chicken and the shrimp seem a bit Very complicated today. for me, so I think we're just going to stick with a nice vegetable stir-fry. I'm feeling frazzled because there's this big array of ingredients. Maybe a mushroom. Vicky has all these colorful options, but instead, She's going with browns. There's a lot of stuff here. Should I be using more? This is your stir fry, so remember we want it to taste good. Ooh. The water boils over and it's guaranteed it happens every day, but I was embarrassed that it did happen in front of her. I think it's salt. Nope, that's sugar. Is this water? Nope, it's coconut water. I think this is chili paste. Nope, it's chipotle powder. Maybe Vicky's just sticking with the browns because it covers up all the black. I can't believe how much is burnt in this pan. Some of the onions look a little bit burnt. more done than others. Let me do a little sniff. Can't really smell a whole lot. I noticed that you served yourself less than me. Yeah. Is there I... a reason for that? <laughs> Not particularly. Okay, wish me luck. Good luck. <clears throat> Nothing like what 
what I thought it would taste. It's kind of pasty. Pasty? I can taste the burnt onion. What do you think? I agree. We're together on that? Okay. Doggy, kitty, squirrel. All right, Vicky, so now we're gonna make my version of a rice noodle stir fry, a chicken pad thai. And it's gonna start introducing you to some beautiful colors and flavors, mm -hmm. you know, to wow the family. Sounds good? Sounds great. Okay, this is a good realm for you because you like the high heat. So the thing with stir frying is you wanna keep everything in motion so nothing burns. I want you to smell this. It's a fermented fish sauce. It's like stinky feet, kind of. Yeah, but that's that secret ingredient in pad thai. This is just a chicken breast that's sliced. Now, a good tip to avoid burning your chicken, when the pan gets too hot like this, just pull it off the burner. So this way you control your heat. So this is high, but control. Now we're gonna add ginger. So see how we're getting a bit of color there? Yeah. Okay, so you can add your tamarind now. What the tamarind will do is add a little tangy depth of flavor to our pad thai. When you go to a restaurant, what kinds of pad thai do you like? Uh, we like it a little bit on the spicy side. Okay. So let's chop some chili now. So a good technique to avoid touching that really spicy chili is to use another knife and then gently scrape it off. You're sure you like spice, right? Yeah. It smells so good. Oh, wow. I like your fearless level of chili. <clears throat> and I think we're gonna start feeling it in our, in our throats. I really wanna get Vicky away from just the drab brown cooking that she was doing into the aromatic, beautiful layers of flavor. So she's not feeling like, eh, I'm cooking. She's cooking. Now, because that's a bit dry, we're gonna add some water so that the noodles actually have something to absorb. So give it a little green onion, put the carrots in, sprouts, and guess what? It's done? That's it. Wow, that was not that hard. Your husband's gonna taste this food and say, you gotta be kidding me, you made this? Well, you're gonna be cooking from now on, girl. Look at your initial stir fry. Similar elements, but look at the difference in the color, how it brings everything to life. It makes it go from blah to like, wow, that looks really great. So what do you think? That's really nice. I just so, got a nice kick in there. You know what? It's the perfect amount of heat, like it really zips. So I think the next step is to get you out of the kitchen. We're gonna go do something fun, and it's gonna involve some flavors that I think you're gonna love. I like surprises, so I can't wait to see where, what's happening. Coming up, Vicky learns that baking is anything but a cakewalk. You have to be exact for baking. And later, Vicky finds herself in a sticky situation when she cooks for hundreds. We're expecting you guys at seven at the food station. Are you gonna be out there at seven? Vicky's atrocious in the kitchen. My mom is a bad cook. Well, whatever you can burn, she has probably done it all. Food is bad, we can't eat it sometimes but I'm teaching her how to overcome her impatience and learn to love cooking so that she can create a Thai feast for her family. Up next, we're off on a sweet adventure to play with some Thai flavors, lime and coconut. So Vicky, Claire is gonna show us how to make some killer lime coconut cupcakes, but she's actually not gonna show us only, we're making them together. So you're gonna start with the butter, you're gonna put it in the mixer. The whole thing? Yep. So that's a half a cup? No, it's more like a quarter of a, a cup. A quarter of a cup, yeah. okay. One and a quarter cups of sugar. You can make oh. it a little fuller. Bring it right to the top. Baking is a science, so when you're measuring, it's got to be precise. So if I cut down the sugar to kind of make it a less sweetened version, it won't work for baking? You have to be exact for baking. No, I really, I didn't know that. I think that the cupcakes are all like girly things. I, that's what I think is so great about Why do you think it's you so You know what? Big? My husband said, I don't get it. I never <laughs> see men talking about cupcakes. <laughs> Vicky's whole body language has changed. She's coming out of her shell, and she's having fun in the kitchen, which I don't think she's ever had. So far, this doesn't seem as hard as I thought it would be. It's really not. Yeah, it's totally not. Slowly kind of going through this process, I'm feeling a little bit better, or feeling a little more confident. Oh, baby. Oh, drop them in the coconut. All about the sparkles. Cheers. 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 Thank you, Claire and Vicky. These are the best cupcakes I've had. Oh, so life is sweet. It is, and you made That's them. Great. Thank you so much. These are fantastic. Vicky, the cupcake excursion was a blast. So I want to continue that kind of theme of, you know, lime and tropical flavors leading to our beautiful Thai feast. So we're gonna make red snapper with some Thai flavors en papillote with a little mango salad on the side. Have you ever heard of this en papillote method? No. It's just a French term that just means wrapped in paper. 
just makes it steam in its own little jacket, and you can customize each of these to each individual in your family. I've got here chili flakes. We can go back to the Thai chili that we used yesterday, and we're gonna layer these flavors. That's a lot of chili. <laughs> That's the one you're gonna taste. So now we put in our fish this way down, because when you open up this little papillote, I like to see that beautiful red side come up. Take our parchment paper, fold it over. To have guests over and then have their food kind of wrapped up, it's just such a pleasant surprise. I know if I went to someone's house and I got it, I'd be like, wow. But that's what I, I want you to have that feeling of, wow, mom made this, my wife made this, this is awesome. Now 10 minutes in the oven at 375 and they should be just right. Salad process was really easy, actually. It's just peeling the mango, dicing it up, honey, some mint, and giving it a good stir. Chili? Yeah, you know what, we can maybe do one. Wow, that's really hot. <laughs> but yummy. <laughs> oh man, that is deadly hot. Whoa, but it tastes killer. Yeah, it does. Are you happy with it? I'm happy because I know who I'm gonna make it for. It's gonna really enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at our fish. Ooh. Wow, they look puffy. Can't wait to taste those babies. Coming up, can Vicky handle the stress of cooking for hundreds? That's definitely too loose. Should I just go home? And later, will Vicky's attempt to show off her new skills end up as a feast or a failure? Vicky's family wishes she would just stay out of the kitchen. My mom is a bad cook. But I'm teaching Vicky to create a delectable Thai feast they won't believe. We started with a tasty pad thai, then we made lime coconut cupcakes, and now I'm showing her a wonderful Thai red snapper on papillote. Wow, the smell is mind-blowing. You just make a little slit in the top, and then you pull it back, and look at how great that is. Like, look, just putting that little hint of bright yellow and the green, how it all comes together. That's great. Wow. It's delicious, really great for the It's great flavoring. Oh, the smell is wonderful. I gotta smell it first, always. I love that. It's a great taste. I'd be so happy to serve this to my family. All right, so now that we've tasted, we've had lots of fun, we've done lots of things together, I think now it's time to get you out of the kitchen again and, you know, get you around lots of people, do something big and fun. Lots of people. Now that Vicky has practiced some patience in the kitchen and she's learned all about Thai ingredients, she's gonna have to put those skills to good use as she makes a Thai rice pudding brulee at one of the city's biggest wine tasting galas, Vinifera. Take a look at the room, take a look around. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> in a couple of hours, this room and this whole area is gonna be filled with about 250 guests. Oh wow. We have to make the dish that's going to be served at that station and served in front of the guests. Kitchen is that way, and we have two hours to do it. I think she said 250 people, and I'm thinking, hmm, in my mind, where's the exit? So we can work anywhere in this kitchen. This is sort of the cooking part, and we're making a jasmine rice pudding. We're gonna turn it into a brulee, and at the station, we're gonna sprinkle sugar on it and torch it. It's gonna be really spectacular. You're gonna torch it? You're gonna torch it. Step two is we're gonna make some little ginger snap cookies, and that's gonna be like a little compliment on the plate. But our time limit is seven o'clock, so we have just under two hours to make all of this, transfer it outside, and then start serving. I see sheer panic in Vicky's eyes. It's obvious that Vicky's never been in an industrial kitchen before. This is a simple process, first part of the recipe. She's got to focus and make it happen. We need 13 and a half cups. That's not 13 and a half. Yeah, that is. No. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay, you know what, let's pour it out. Let's pour it out. Let's pour it into here and then restart, restart. We have a scorching situation in the bottom here easily. If we're not careful, our rice pudding will scorch and burn on the bottom of these pots. It scorches, we're done. I don't smell this. This thing doesn't look very steady. I think it's gonna tilt over. The pot is really concave. This is kind of bowing there, so we actually had to take one batch of the rice pudding, pour it out of here because they only have two pots this size, 
and see if we can bake it in the oven. It's a risk because that's going to take longer, but I know for sure this is going to be a scorching festival and that is unacceptable. All right, you start to measure the ingredients for the ginger snap cookies. Do I need to pack? Like, does it brown sugar have to be packed? Pack that? Yeah, precise, just like the cupcakes. Mm -hmm. And the butter went in there or no? I haven't measured the butter yet. Okay, so all of this that is has baking to go soda, right? I took it from this tray, so I'm thinking. Oh. That baby is ready to scorch any minute. How's it looking? It's looking good and it's smelling good. Can I mix the flour and everything yeah, in there? everything here? in there. So okay. all the dry stuff, just mix it there perfectly. Remember, you're going to do the right, like, totally. Yeah. OK. Good girl. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. So I just want to check in with you. We're expecting you guys at 7 at the food station. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of people that are really anxious to see you. Are you going to be out there at 7? We're going to, yes. OK. You ready? Okay, Vicky, we gotta get moving on those ginger snap cookies now. Okay, I can tell you right now. Something's wrong? It's loose. That's definitely too loose. Okay, I've just discovered that the batter for the cookies is too loose. I actually don't even know what's wrong. Should I just go home? No. You're not going home. This is the facing the music. I think the, we got to bail on the cookies. We, there's no way we can make this. We can't make the batter again. And uh, we're going to have to make it as nice as it can look with the garnish, relaying it in front of people. The motto in catering is, if something can happen, it will happen, and it usually does. We're going cookie-less, but our rice pudding is going to be sweet and crispy. I love it. I could just drink this as milk. Mm. Now we got to get everything together, get it out to our station, because we're about to serve. There's already people lining up. Oh, my God. Christine, everyone's looking at the station. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it's a little bit nerve-wracking. The crowd's waiting. We finally made it to our station. Vicky is a bit nervous, but we're here. She's going to rock it. She's spooning out the pudding. We don't have cookies, but we are on fire. OK, so we push down. OK. Click it. Yep. And then that holds it in okay. place. OK? Careful, careful where you put that. Careful. <laughs> so careful with that. I'm going to put it down. I never thought I'd be pooling for anyone, let alone 250 people, ever. See, brulee is just French for burnt. <laughs> Coconut rice pudding brulee. It's awesome. It's delicious. Oh my god, it's great. Thank so you. Good. Really good. good job. You see, did you got an oh my god? Did you <laughs> great texture? This is incredible. Are you a professional? I'm even holding. Yeah. I think you should quit your day job and. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. trying it. So how does this feel? The fact that your son wouldn't eat your cupcakes. Look where you are. <laughs> Now that you've had that experience, are you ready to go back home, cook a little dinner for your husband, the family? I am. I Think am. you can Maybe. do it? I'm excited to do it. Vicky's learned a lot about Thai and about how to handle herself in the kitchen. But now comes her biggest challenge, cooking for the people who know how terrible her food used to be. Vicky, this is your big day. This is the day you're going to make that beautiful Thai feast that you've always wanted to make. You are making pad Thai with chicken and veggies, the easy mango salad that you love with the fresh herbs. You're also going to whip up a little Thai red rainbow trout en papillote. You have all the recipes and your game plan. And I'm here just as garnish today. I'm not going to be part of the menu, so off you go. I'm feeling a little bit of nervousness. I hope I don't let them down. I've been given these skills, and I have to prove that I can do it. I don't see this on the recipe. Am I supposed to add this in? Look at all the color you have here. Is it OK if I cry? Can it's it OK if you cry? Uh-oh. Guess what that means. It's time. Hi, Mama. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good, too. Nice to see you. Same here. Hi, guys. Hi, Rachel. 
What do you think about what's going to happen today about the about this dinner? <laughs> I've never had fish before with her, so I, I don't know if she can do it or not. What do you think, Jabra? I hope it's not burnt. I don't think it will be good. It's a little bland. It does taste a little bland. I'm with you. Let's do some troubleshooting. Fish Say some fish sauce. Yeah, hit it with some fish sauce. Do you want to give it a bit more chili? It's starting to stick now. It's okay, fine. no, that's good. That's good. Don't worry. You're good. You got. You're moving it. That's excellent. Colors are still good. Give it one last toss, and then oh, those guys are looking good. It's so perfect, like basically the best, best uh, I ever had actually, or the best you ever made, I should say. I'm really <laughs> proud of you. Good. Good. Really good. Mommy, this tastes good. Yay! <laughs> Cheers to Vicky. You did me really proud. Cheers. Cheers to mommy. When I first met Vicky, she saw cooking only as a chore. Now she sees it as a joy. The whole family loves her food. She is fearless in the kitchen. And now for dessert, these are Mummy's handmade lime and coconut cupcakes. So this has changed my life. I see the kitchen as a place to experiment and a place to explore, a place to create. I feel like I can do anything in the kitchen, actually. Visit myviva.ca slash fearless in the kitchen.